Myrna Loy Myrna Loy, born Myrna Adele Williams, was an American film, television, and stage actress. She was born on August 2, 1905, in Helena, Montana, and raised in rural Radisburg during her early childhood. Loy's early education included extensive training as a dancer during her high school years in Los Angeles. Natasha Rambova, a production designer, discovered Loy and facilitated film auditions for her in the late 1920s. Loy initially faced typecasting in exotic roles, often as a vamp or a woman of Asian descent. Her breakthrough role came with The Thin Man in 1934, where she portrayed Nora Charles, earning her widespread recognition. Loy's performances peaked in the 1940s with films like The Best Years of Our Lives and Mr. Blanding's Builds His Dream House. Despite never receiving an Academy Award nomination, Loy was honored with an Honorary Academy Award in March 1991 for her life's work. Loy actively contributed to the war effort during World War II, serving with the Red Cross and being outspoken against Adolf Hitler. She married four times, divorcing her third husband, Arthur Hornblow Jr., in 1942, and marrying John D. Hertz, Jr. five days later. Loy divorced Hertz in 1944 and later married producer and screenwriter Jean Markey in 1946. After divorcing Markey in 1950, Loy married Howland H. Sargent, her fourth and final husband, in 1951. Loy became known for her influential role in the National Committee Against Discrimination in Housing during the 1950s. She starred in Cheaper by the Dozen in 1950 and divorced Jean Markey the same year. Loy's fourth husband, Howland H. Sargent, was a U.S. Assistant Secretary of State for Public Affairs. In the 1950s, Loy continued her film career with Bells on Their Toes and The Ambassador's Daughter. In the late 1950s, Loy appeared in Lonely Hearts alongside Montgomery Clift and Robert Ryan. Loy was diagnosed with breast cancer in 1975 and underwent two mastectomies. She actively supported Democratic political candidates, endorsing John F. Kennedy, Eugene McCarthy, Hubert Humphrey, and George McGovern. Loy divorced her fourth husband, Howland H. Sargent, in 1960. She appeared in TV series like The Virginian in 1967 and Columbo in 1972. Loy's last motion picture performance was in Sidney Lumet's Just Tell Me What You Want in 1980. In 1985, Loy was honored by the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences with a special salute. Her autobiography, Myrna Loy, Being and Becoming, was published in 1987. Loy's handprint and signature are cast in the sidewalk in front of Theater 80, on St. Mark's Place in New York City. Loy's contributions to the film industry have left a lasting legacy, celebrated through various honors and recognitions.